Well, hello and welcome to Warrnambool. It's day one of the Tabcor Warrnambool May Racing Carnival. A big carnival this year, over a million dollars in stakes. Stakes increases for 16 races, including the feature event on day one, which was the Briley Steeplechase, the 3YB. Scotty Stewart, Briley Steeplechase, up from $60,000 to $100,000 in stakes, and two horses right in contention here, Tarawira and Vindicating. Let's see who took the prize. Here's the last. Royal Laddie comes to it. He was brave at it. Got away a length in front. Tara Weir is trying to chase him down. And Plum Tastic's taken the shortcut on the fence for Hamlin. Plum Tastic for Robbie Lang went through to join Royal Laddie. Tara Weir is trying his heart out a length away. Vindicating and Vivacity running on. Royal Laddie fought on. He's still in front. Tara Weir is having a crack and Vivacity's flying through. And still there, Lord Royal Laddie in front. Coming at him, Tara Weir. Tara Weir. Vindicating on the outside, Vindicating! By jeez, he's racing well. <coughs> um, terrific ride, saved him, and he came home the last thousand. That was the intention, win, lose or draw. So we just hope he's pulled up all right. We'll get him down the beach tomorrow and uh, you know, he'll be hard to beat. Uh, the New Zealand horse is the hardest to beat, I suppose, but um, all going well. He's a great chance. He's just bloody tough, this horse. He, um, he had every reason to drop out of it and you know, run nowhere. But... He's just as tough as old boots. And well, there's a big finish from Vindicating to upset Tarawira. There were two horses that figured prominently in the maiden hurdle here 12 months ago. Can the winners of this year's maiden hurdle continue a beaten path that has been forged? The Katarina is the one that is of greatest interest here. Irish jockey John Allen making a breakthrough victory on Australian soil. But John Allen, he leads the way on the Cat Arena. Cat's fun is storming down the outside when it's all over, but he's giving away too big a lead. The Cat Arena in front of Cat's fun. The Cat's fun gets it down to a length, but the Cat Arena beat him. Heard a lot about it now, and they're all talking about it, so it's good to get off to a good start. And the good thing in being an Irishman, uh, down here they drink plenty too, which just <laughs> suits you down to the ground. <laughs> I don't know what I'd get off for work in the morning, so. <laughs> Well, the Katarina took out the second division of the maiden hurdle. The first one went to the stewards' room of protest, third and second against first, but it was the winner, and the winner was grinning. Winners of grinners, the local retained the maiden hurdle, the opening event on day one. Kurdom in front, Stillman not a done duck yet. He's coming back and winners of Grinners chiming in. Kurdom still in front, 50 to run. Winners of Grinners coming at him. McLean lifting. Winners of Grinners takes the lead in the shadows. Oh, it's close. It's oh so close. Winners of Grinners are nose, Kurdom, but I could be wrong. I guess I'll take a step back here. We'll make all this about Brad. He's, uh, you know, he does it hard with his weight. Uh, obviously had the highs and lows last year. Uh, it's a bloody long time since he's ridden the winner. I don't reckon he could tell the last few months since he's ridden the winner, but, you know, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll tribute this win to Brad. Well done. So at the 100, I wasn't that confident, but he's such a tonest, tough, honest old bugger. Like, geez, he tried hard. And just full credit to Jared and all their team here in Warrnambool to get this horse back from where he's been at, and it's just unbelievable. Well, that's day one at Warrnambool. The carnival continues tomorrow on Wednesday. Feature events there, the Sun Gold Milk Gallywood Hurdle. And on the flat, it's the new market of the bush, the listed event, the Scott Petroleum Wangoom Handicap. Look forward to your company.